Hi, this is Doug from FCP Talent Your Film and today we're going to be going through this method of tracing out uh, a building. Uh, these are the shots that I need to trace out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and put that right at the end here and I'm going to bump out a master file. Fantastic. All right. So let's head on over to After Effects. All right. And we're ready to go. So let's take this clip. We're going to pull it there into our project. Okay. So new comp from Selection. I'm going to select the clip and I'm going to uh, go to animation and I'm going to track in uh, Mocha AE. I recommend just taking a few minutes to get to know some of the basic tools. If you hold down the Z uh, key there, it's to zoom, so then you can click and drag and you will be zooming. Hold down the X key and you can move around. I am going to use the X spline tool. We'll get back to the end. Click on the first clip and you'll see that the uh, edges here are rounded. Okay, so I'm just gonna select all points, that was command A, and I'm just gonna pull on this little blue tag and it goes from curved points to corners. I'm just gonna round off the corners just a, little, just a touch. Okay, now we're ready to roll. I'm going to track the keyframes backwards using this command here. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so a lot of points here need help. Um, what I'm gonna do is just scroll along that timeline. Some points hold quite well, some points not so much. I'm doing these adjustments right at the start of the timeline, which creates a keyframe at the start. So we only have two, one at the start and one at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll through that now. See how it holds the shape a whole lot better? Uh, let's export shape data and copy to clipboard. And here's where the real magic is. And check this out. We'll put the playhead right at the front and we'll go to uh, edit, paste mocker mask. Okay, so now that mask is tracked, and the crucial thing to know is that masks can have effects placed on them. Generate stroke, that's the one I want to use. And you can see under uh, generate uh, stroke under effects here, we've got uh, some options. We can either have it on the original image, on transparent, or reveal the original image. So we'll say on the original image. Okay, see it easier there if we change the background to black. There we go, it looks a little bit more effective. We can offset the endpoint, and of course if we animate that, that means uh, that it can draw on over a uh, period of time. So let's do that. Now let's have a look at what we've got. Awesome. So I'm going to change this to uh, on transparent and we will now export that composition. Uh, we'll go to uh, add the render queue. I'm going to export this out as uh, ProRes 4444 no audio. Nice and quick, look at that. And now we've got an outline. I want to use exactly the same glow as uh, this one here. So it's simply a matter of, there's my previous outline. I'm just going to copy and paste the attributes. Let's go back to this now. Paste attributes, uh, optical glow. Get that nice little blue glow going on. And that is how the outline of the building in 3D is achieved, going between Final Cut 10 After Effects and Mocha AE.